Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you, as you can see from the title, a haul video. And I've had these things sitting in this box for, I think it's been like a week or two. I, I actually, I, I will say I'm guilty. I used probably one of the products in this thing, actually two, dang. It's just, like I said, a mishmash of things from here and there, but I just wanna share with you guys my recent purchases, so let's go ahead and get started. Just so you guys know as well, I will always have everything linked down below for you guys, every product that I use, so being that I got kind of a mishmash of things, I will always link everything down below for you guys so you can go ahead and get it for yourself. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and start with lip products because I got a lot of those. So I'll start with this one because I know I actually wore this. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rio. I wore it in my April Favorites video and I had posted a picture on Instagram and so many of you loved the lip color and said how nice it looked on me, which thank you so much because these are the kind of lip colors that I think can be really intimidating for people. And so I want to go ahead and just change it up, do a lip color, because I feel like the majority of time I always do nude lips. I came out with a whole new collection. I actually bought Rio. Um, on a separate place and then I was able to get stripped, but stripped isn't here yet. So know that I actually did get Rio and stripped together. And I love this color so, so much. I think it's a beautiful, vibrant pink, but it's so fun to go ahead and do a fun color every once in a while and change it up, especially being now that it's spring and summer's coming up. I just love wearing colorful liquid lipsticks and I love liquid lipsticks in general because they stay on your lips all day. You don't have to retouch them, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you guys already know that. The only thing that's negative about this, but it's honestly with every single pink lipstick that I wear, not with reds, not with anything else, but pink always stains my lips. I don't know what it is. Yesterday on Snapchat, I talked about it a couple times when I had this on, and th that's the only negative I have, but I mean, it's not, like I'm gonna continue to buy pink lipsticks, so it's it's not that big of a negative, but that's the only thing when it comes to pink lipsticks with me, it always stains my lips. But anyway, that's besides the point, so I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys that I did get the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Rio. Next, with lip products, I did get three of the new Jouer Liquid Lipsticks, as well, these are their long wear lip creams. And I got it in the shade Creme Brulee. I got Melon and Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse? Pamplemousse? I have worn Melon. I did wear Melon and I put it on in a picture on Instagram. Love this color. And Swatch, I think Melon out of everyone is my favorite. Melon is a really beautiful, warm, pinky nude. They are all matte, of course, so they do go on as a liquid, but they dry as a matte. And Creme Brulee is actually a really beautiful shade as well. It's a warm, matte nude. And then, of course, for Pample Mousse, or Pample Mousse, however you wanna say it, that is a really beautiful shade as well. It's so different than anything I have in my collection, and it's a metallic, warm gold. And I wanted to go ahead and get this because I just thought it looked so cool in the packaging and the swatches that I saw of it online. So that one was completely different. Ooh, that one is completely different. This one's completely different than any of the other kind of liquid lipstick that I have in my collection, but I just decided to uh, branch out and try something different. My sister's calling me. Hello? Hi. Hi. Excuse me while I took that phone call. That was really rude of me. I'm so sorry. When I wore Melon, it was really nice, really um, soft. It wasn't the like, tacky feeling or anything like that. It didn't feel like I was wearing a matte lipstick. Sometimes the matte lipsticks, other ones by other companies, they're very drying. They're like annoying and it feels like you have a liquid lipstick on your lips. When I wore Melon for the one day, it didn't feel like that at all. So yeah, I've got these three. So I'm really excited. I want to get a bunch more, but these are like, as of right now, pretty much impossible to find more colors because they're all sold out, but I'm really happy I got these three. So these are the Jouer Longwear Lip Creams in Melon Creme Brulee and Pample Mousse. Pample Mousse. The next two things that I got are from Bite Beauty, and I wanted to go ahead and get these two because I saw um, Desi Perkins wearing these, and you guys know I love her. I do have a tutorial that I did on her. And she was wearing these two products, so I wanted to go ahead and obviously get it. So first, these, these, these. This is the Bite Beauty lipstick, and this is in the shade Honeycomb. And this is a really beautiful, warm nude color. I haven't gotten the chance to wear this yet, but oh my gosh, it looks so 
beautiful. I love Bite Beauty things. I actually don't have that many Bite Beauty products in my collection, um, but the things that I do have of them, I really do love. So I got this lipstick in Honeycomb, and then I got the lip gloss that Desi wore, and this is in the shade Honey, um, which, oh my god. It's a beautiful nude and it has like little um, shimmery specks in it and the shimmer looks like it's like a gold. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is the first time I'm seeing this. How pretty. So yeah, I went ahead and got these two by Bite Beauty in, oh, in, oh, in Honeycomb and in Honey. <laughs> I'm running out of room here. Oh. Next, I got a pair of lashes from Huda Beauty. I love her lashes. I have a bunch of styles. I don't have every single one, but I went ahead and got these. Um, these are her faux mink lashes in the style Farah. Oh my goodness. These are really gorgeous. I am a false lashaholic. Anytime I see a pair of lashes that I don't have in my collection, I need to get them. It's like, I know, it's really bad. It, it's get, my lash obsession has gotten really, really bad, but that's besides the point. But I forget who I saw. Did I see someone wearing these or I just saw them online and I thought they looked so beautiful. So I wanted to go ahead and get them for myself. I actually completely forgot that I bought these. So the fact that they're now, I'm looking at them right now, I now need to wear these like, tomorrow. So I'll definitely share with you guys when I do wear them. Huda lashes are always really comfortable and she has really amazing styles. So I'm so excited to try these out. So these are the faux mink lashes in Farah. And then I got three single eyeshadows, which is really random. I got two by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one I actually did use. My favorite color to wear on my eyes is purple. And I feel like purple really makes my eyes stand out like no other. I love to pair it with a black shirt and we're good to go. But I got this color, this is an iridescent purple. I've always had this on my wish list of makeup products. You know how, you, we all have that list, you know what I'm talking about. This has always been a shade that has been on my wish list forever, so I'm so excited I went ahead and got it. So that is in iridescent purple. And then this one I got in the shade Sateen, which I have yet to use this color. It's really, oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, this shadow is so creamy. It's so pigmented. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely, definitely gonna have to use this eyeshadow this weekend. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Anyway, so yeah, I got those two eyeshadows by Anastasia in Sateen and in Iridescent Purple. And then the other eyeshadow I got from MAC. I know, random, because I actually was buying stuff for my makeup kit and I saw this shadow and I did not know this existed until I was looking through the single eyeshadows. And this is in the shade Contrast. It's a really beautiful, deep, bl purpley blue. It looks like it has specks of blue in it or something. It's just, oh my gosh, I saw this color and I thought that would be the most amazing smoky eye look. I know I just did a blue and purple makeup tutorial, but that was really bright and, and really colorful. So if you guys are interested in seeing a makeup tutorial using this color, let me know in the comments down below. I love, love, love smoky eyes. You guys know this, so I'm always up to do a good smoky eye. Let me know if you would like for me to do a tutorial with this color. So this is in the shade Contrast. So this next product is actually really weird and funny because I actually bought this a really, really, really long time ago. And then I completely forgot that I bought it. Like I think I put it in my drawer and completely forgot that I bought this until recently. I went crazy with my makeup kit this month. I bought some new eyeshadows, I bought some new brushes. And when I bought the brushes, I actually bought them from Sigma and I got the purple brush kit. And then after I got it home, I was like, wait a minute. Something just like clicked in my mind. I was like, wait a minute. I bought myself a brush kit a while ago and where is it? So I went searching through my room and I found it. So I'm adding this into my recent purchases because I mean, even though I purchased it a while ago, I still, it's, it's kind of like I just bought it because everything is still in the plastic. So it's kind of good and you know, it's like, 
So it kind of is like I just bought it, so now I'm able to enjoy it again. I actually looked online before I sat down and I don't think they sell the blue anymore. I could be mistaken. I'll let you guys know in the comments down below. But they do have the purple. They have the regular black brushes as well. Like I said, I just purchased the purple kit for my makeup kit. Go ahead and add this in as a purchase of mine. I know, I just, yeah, I don't really want to talk about it anymore because I'm like, I actually look like a dope that the fact that I forgot that I had those, but moving on. Lastly, I got a few makeup, no, not at all. Lastly, I got a couple of skincare products that I am really excited to try. So first, I got the new Glam Glow Firming Treatment Mask. I love Glam Glow. I love their Super Mud Mask. I love their Moisturizing Mask. And I saw a bunch of people using this and trying it, and I was just like, yes, please get it right now. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is the one that actually firms and tones and tightens your skin, which all sounds really amazing and things that my skin needs. So I am so excited. Yes, it lifts, firms, tightens, tones, and sexy contours. Oh, if, there, if this gives you sexy contours, then here we go. Everyone also loves it as well. All the beauty people here on YouTube and all the beauty people that I follow love it as well. So I'm really, really, really excited to try this out. So this is the Glam Glow Firming Treatment Mask. And then I got three more masks and I'm buying these because I'm trying them. These are all from Nordstrom, I think I got these from. I got two from Patchology and then this one from Dermovia? Dermovia. This one is Lace Your Face. It is a revitalizing collagen, which tightens and revitalizes your face. So I am gonna look like a crazy person sitting around the house like this. How long do I have to keep this on for? 15 minutes. That's funny, I love this. I'm really excited to try this out. I've never actually used face masks like this. I always have ones like the Glam Glow and hydrating, everything like that. I've never tried one that's like a sheet that you put on your face. So that's why I kind of went, not crazy, but I went and got a couple of those kind of masks to try them out. So this one is a collagen mask. And then these two are from Patchology. This is a illuminating mask. And this one is a hydrating, which I'll probably try the hydrating one first because I always need to hydrate my skin. I will definitely be trying these out and I will let you guys know what I think of them. So these are a couple of sheet face masks that I got. So that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really still, like I still, like I'm looking at my Sigma brushes and I, I could kick myself. Like, all right, like actually get over it. If that is the biggest problem that I have, then I'm doing really good, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed all the items that I got. I will definitely give you guys an update on um, these items if I like them as I continue to try them. So I'll let you guys know about that, especially on my Snapchat. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat because that's where I pretty much talk the most about products and everything like that. So again, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel as that little face of mine, wherever it is, over here in this vicinity. So I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.